Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless Student. Today we're going to be talking about document markup in iOS 11, particularly focusing on iBooks as a PDF editor. And we're also going to be talking about document markup in different applications that come with your iOS 11. Before we get started, if you enjoy my videos and you'd like to support my quest to turning the education system paperless, you can support me on Patreon. For a small donation of a dollar a month, you can get to vote on the topics you'd like to see on this channel. If you're new to my channel, subscribe because I will continue uploading free videos for you guys every week so i'm doing this video as a response to one of you guys who asked me to do a review of ibooks in ios 11 but i've just decided to combine a uh, document markup in general which is a feature that's available for notes ibooks photos and files so i'm going to be looking at all of these applications except for notes because i've already done a video for notes in ios 11 if you haven't seen that video i will put the link in the description down below the interface in ibooks hasn't really changed much you still have your two options for your books and i I personally prefer the bookshelf layout that's the one that i've used i haven't been the most faithful ibook user in the past year so i don't really know what ibook before ios 11 looked like but i did notice that from the last time that i looked at ibooks they've seemed to have added a few more formats i'm not really sure if this is an ios thing or it's been like this for a while the application now supports audiobooks pdfs and epub so to start marking up your document you have to tap the pen icon on the right side of your page and this will make the markup tool pop up on the bottom of your page the pen feels natural when you're writing but the ink doesn't feel very natural it looks a bit faint almost like an, an out of focus image and i think that more pixels need to be added into this pen tool for it to be more functional you also have a few colors that, that you can choose from but really how many colors do you need to annotate a document the highlighting tool is a bit tricky considering the fact that you can't actually change the size of your highlighter i think it's a bit weird that the highlighter in this application works in this particular way i discovered that for you to get the right reasonable size of your highlighter that's not ridiculously humongous you need to make sure that the pen the apple pencil is exactly perpendicular to the screen any slight tilt that you make in your highlighter it will become too big and it will start overlapping into other lines which in my opinion is a very big downside um, because a highlighter is the most single important tool for annotating any document making the highlighter difficult to use means you can't technically use this application for annotating diag um, for annotating PDFs because most people annotate PDFs by mostly highlighting in this application I love the pencil tool it works for me it's a better tool than the pencil and the highlighter so if I was ever going to be using iBooks I would probably be using the pencil you don't actually need an Apple pencil to annotate iBooks by the way your finger also works as well and any stylus which I suppose is a good thing the eraser still removes a stroke instead of pixels and I've already shown you guys how this works in notes and then the selecting tool in iBooks doesn't work in the traditional way meaning that you can't actually select anything and change anything like when you select it gives you an option to copy or to select and when you tap those they don't actually work I'm not really sure why they have that I guess it's just part of the package of the markup tools that's why it's there in iBooks but it's actually not functional but the long pressing on a thing using a finger on a word will select words in the traditional sense that we used to and will give you options to select to define a word or copy a section of your PDF but this option is only available if you're not in the marking up section of your document you can also add text signatures shapes using the plus button at the bottom right corner you can magnify the text to read better for better understanding of these tools just check out the video that I did on notes you can also search your PDF which is something you find on all pdf editors so that's that's great unfortunately after annotating and marking up your document you still cannot export into other applications and uh, but i think i found a way around this i'm not really sure if it's going to work for the full version of ios 11 which is why i'm not going to show you guys how that works as yet but once i figure out that it's something that's available in the full version of ios 11 i will show you guys how you can get around not being able to export your documents from certain applications that allow you to um, print out your notes so now we'll get into photos okay so in photos to mark up your documents you select your photo that you want to edit and then you tap on add it and then go to the three little dots there's three little extra dots and then that will pop up a markup tool then you just select the markup tool and you start editing your photos marking up documents in photos especially screenshots is fun but it's not very useful for any classroom or business setup and I find that good notes and notability do a much better job because they they have more space for you to annotate your photos here 
I find the pen is too thick so you can't actually use it besides the photos don't actually have space for you to annotate like for example if it's a whole diagram and you need everything on that diagram it doesn't really make sense writing on it sometimes I think it's more useful to write around it instead of writing on it I find this is fun for posting maybe photos onto Facebook or Instagram social media but it's not very useful for for anything else and the final application that we're going to be looking at is files application it opens all different sorts of text formats but it only annotates PDF and the tools it has are exactly the same tools that you have in iBook only the difference is that when you annotate in files you can actually export your annotation to other applications that said I'll probably say that the files application as a PDF annotating app is much more useful than iBooks will I be using iBooks as my primary PDF editor the answer is no, I will do no such thing because the mockup tool is a great idea but it still needs a lot of improvement and I would personally love to have more control on the size of pen and highlighting tools that I have because the ones that they have right now are not very practical for everyday use. I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it, comment, let me know what you think about the new iOS 11 and the markup tool. What features are you guys excited about? I'd love to know about that. Don't forget to subscribe and support me on Patreon. I will see you guys in the next video.